I'm Scott Flanagan, and in this series, we're bringing you a whole project. We started this series off with the customer talking about her experience, and you get to see the whole project from start to finish with all the final shots. We then tried to break this project up into 10 short videos to teach you how to do a project just like this from start to finish. Today we're building the seat wall, start to finish. You want to learn how to do it? Stick with us. Time to start building our walls. Most of our stone is in, but we have to set a string line and check the height of our wall. You saw most of the demo and excavation in the earlier how-tos. If you haven't seen them, follow the link above to watch this series from the beginning. It's important to get the gravel as flat as you can using a level as both a screet, a straight edge, and an actual level. Then when you compact it, it shouldn't be too far off, but you'll still need screenings for a multitude of reasons. One, for something to smash the hammer into as you level off the bricks, and two, to make it perfectly flat. Now you see my man Jose laying out the screenings. He's gonna make this thing flat. He's a pro. Next, we just have to lay out the bricks. We set up a string line so we know where to put them down and that we can keep them straight. Uh-oh, looks like we put them on the wrong side of the string line. No worries, we'll just shift them to the other side. Now we're leveling the blocks. This is the step that takes the longest. You have to put a level on every single block and hit it a minimum of four times, usually about eight, 12, or 16 times. But when it's totally flat, the rest of the wall is easy. All we have to do now is cut, glue, and repeat. Cut, glue, and repeat. But we have a flat base to start on, so this is a piece of cake. My man Jose here, he likes to dry fit everything because he's a bit of a perfectionist. I'm more of a production man, and I have a lot of years of experience, so I throw my glue down first. You do it however you feel comfortable. The most important thing is that the end product is of the highest quality. One trick I like to use is to create a bit of a pyramid in the center. That way I get my lowest skilled guys working on the straight part of the wall while I put my higher skilled guys on the curved part of the wall. The job gets done twice as fast with twice as many people working on it. It's hard to keep a big crew productive and that's why I'm on site almost all day long working side by side with the guys not only to get the work done but to help them think ahead and work cooperatively. Now all we've left to do is throw the caps on and voila! How's it look? I'm Scott Flanagan. I appreciate you watching these videos. I hope you enjoy watching them as much as I enjoy sharing them. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, you know the rest. This video series started out with the customer talking about her experience and you got to see the whole project from start to finish with all the final shots. We then made a whole bunch of how-tos. Every piece of this project we tried to cut down into a video under three minutes teaching you how to do what we do. If you want to see this series from the beginning, click on that link. If you want to see our latest videos, they're over there. If you want to see more videos about our company, they're over there. And if you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe!